Hey, hey everyone, it's Tish. Um, just thought I'd come in and talk to you today about confidence. So this is my new live series, um, which is called Building Your Confidence for Success. And hopefully some people are going to find this useful. So I'm planning to go live every Monday and every Thursday at 2 p.m. Uh, UK time. And hopefully um, there's going to be some of you that really, really want to build confidence. So for those of you who don't know me, my name's Tish Hawkin. Um, I know this is going out on my feed, so I'm sure plenty of you know already who I am and what I do, but I'll just update people who don't know who I am. Maybe I've appeared on your feed and you don't know who I am. Maybe somebody has shared this into a group or another page and you don't know who I am. Um, or maybe you do know who I am, but you just don't know what I do. So if you're interested, I will tell you. So I'm Tish Hawkin. I'm a life coach. I specialize in helping people to build confidence and rebuild confidence so that they can go on to success in their lives in whatever area they want to. Um, but I, I help more business people and um, people who've got online businesses more than anybody to build confidence to be able to show up for their business online but what I thought I would do is I would come in and start to talk about building confidence for everybody in general and hopefully um you know you'll be able to take away some some nice golden nuggets from this in the in the weeks to come so I'm just gonna if you're here let me know um I've got hopefully I'll be able to see the comments. I'm looking here somewhere else. So if you are watching and you want to say hi, please do. Um, you can comment in the box, hashtag live if you're watching live or hashtag replay if you're watching on replay. So um, I know who's watched and that you want to engage. So I'd love you to engage with me. There's nothing worse than talking to yourself. But, you know, that's OK. I think we all talk to ourselves now and again. So who is this for? Well, as I just mentioned, it's for anybody really who wants to know how to develop more confidence and self-belief because that is the foundation. They are the foundation blocks for being able to move forward in life, for being able to be successful in any area of your life, not just in business. So you need confidence to be able to take action. You need self-belief to be able to move forward. You need it to be able to overcome your roadblocks. You need it to, um, to gain more happiness as well. Not that happiness comes just from confidence, but it helps. And what I've found and what I've noticed in this past year being the the year it's been, the dreadful year it's been for many, many people, is that a lot of people have lost confidence either in themselves um, or in life in general. Um, a lot of people are losing jobs or have lost their jobs. Their confidence has just plummeted. Um, people have had a lot of time to themselves to think, to overthink, to start to procrastinate and lose confidence. So what I thought I would do in the next few weeks and months, I'm actually planning to do this for a full year I've committed to a full year twice a week so if it's something that you think you'll um get value from then please tune in every Monday and Thursday at 2 p.m at British time so just let me know if you're here I can't see any comments right now um I am streaming from a different platform even though I'm on Facebook so hopefully if you comment I'll be able to see it if not I'll go in when I've finished and I'll take a look and see who was in so what I've done is um, I planned out what I'm going to be talking about in the next year. <laughs> so it's a really uh, big goal for me to be able to do this for a full year. Um, circumstances allowing, of course, because things happen. But these videos are going to be uh, no longer than 10, 15 minutes. So, you know, I'm not going to drone on and on and on. You're not going to be hopefully you're not going to be bored um, because I know people's attention spans are sometimes short and people are busy and they get distracted. Hey Claire, hi, how are you doing? Um, how's the weather? <laughs> so um, those of you who know, I normally live 
in Abu Dhabi, but I'm here in the UK. I came back to be on lockdown with my eldest daughter um, to keep her company because she lives here by herself. So um, I'm here in lockdown. It finishes on the 2nd of December and I'm really hoping they open the shops because I want to go Christmas shopping. <laughs> OK, so when we let's talk about confidence now and self-belief when we don't have confidence it robs us of so so much um it can make us procrastinate we can be full of fear we can be full of anxiety it can stop us doing the things that we want to do it can stop us being the people we want to be and it can stop us from showing ourselves to others showing our real authentic selves to others now there's a lot of um, coaches out there teaching confidence and saying, you know, you can get confidence in five steps and all this kind of stuff. But actually, you can display confidence by learning how to act, as in you uh, learning how to use your body language and your face, your tone of voice, um, your posture. But that won't last long term so what i'm all about is helping people to develop confidence long term and to do that you've got to sort of dig quite deep uh you've got to understand yourself a lot more than just wearing a cloak of confidence you've got to be able to um know who you are know why your confidence is on the floor or is low know why your self-esteem is low and why you haven't got self-belief or little self-belief so confidence is developed over time it's not something you can really learn it's something you develop and you have to understand where your limiting beliefs are you have to understand what your blocks are and then you have to take action to be able to get over those blocks um, and it is absolutely doable and the reason why I can talk about this with authenticity is because um, over the years I've lost confidence, had confidence, lost confidence again, had confidence and every single time I just go back to my fundamental teachings that I teach in my courses and help myself to get back up on my feet again. Um, I was actually a performer for 20 years, so I had to have confidence to be able to do that. I had to have self-belief. So not only do I have the sort of uh, coaching knowledge, I also have the um, the life skills as well. I've got the experience. I've been there, done that and worn the T-shirt. And so um, confidence can you. you if you're a confident person, that doesn't necessarily mean that you're confident in every single part of your life. It can mean that you're confident in your um, in your relationships, maybe. But when you go to work, you don't feel very confident or it can mean that you're really confident at a sport that you do or, um, you know, maybe you you do something like you know you're a baker you know as a hobby you're really confident but then in your relationships you're not confident so it can be certain areas um or it can be everything so you know it's not necessarily just i'm just not a confident person you can be confident in some areas so what i'm going to do over the next few weeks is talk to you about what you actually um need to develop within yourself to get to being a confident person, full of self-belief, um, with high self-esteem, to be able to overcome the challenges that come your way, to be able to get rid of those limiting beliefs that you've got that are stopping you. Um, and I'm going to be sort of picking them apart over the next few weeks. So these are some of the things that you're going to need um, to develop confidence the first thing is a goal you've got to have what I, I call a confidence goal so you need to be able to know what it is you want to do um, what it is what kind of person you want to be you need to have a really clear goal you need commitment you need determination you need patience because confidence takes time to develop you need to be able to manage tough emotions as well because when we're on a journey of developing confidence it can be really tough emotionally because we're facing our fears 
you have to face your fears if you're going to develop confidence. You have to manage those fears. Um, you have to accept as well who you are right now. You have to be stop beating yourself up and accept who you are. And be okay with feeling vulnerable because when we step out in confidence or when we step out to build confidence, we can feel really, really vulnerable. Uh, it's funny because if you've been watching I'm a Celebrity Get, Get Me Out of Fear and you've seen Jordan, he's been set, um, stepping out in confidence, although he hasn't been confident, but he's, he's stepped out in faith and done the very things that he's scared of. And I'm guessing he's building so much confidence doing that. You also need to understand that you can change, even if you're an older person who's never been confident in certain areas of your life and you think it's too late for me. It's never, ever too late because the mind or the brain, should I say, the brain uh, has neuroplasticity, which means that it can change. It's not fixed. So you can be confident. Um, and Confidence needs to come from the inside out, not the outside in. And what I mean by that is people will hang on to other people and look to them to help them become confident. Um, and that's great in the short term. But if somebody else believes in you, that's a really good thing. But to develop real, authentic confidence, you need to develop it yourself. So you need to de develop it from the inside out rather than from the outside in. You also need to understand that it's a choice. It's a choice for you to start to learn to be confident. And you need to do things over and over again. You need to take action. You need to do things over and over again. Repetition helps us to A, to learn and B, to um, build on confidence. Because once you realize you've taken one small step towards your confidence goal, um, then you realize, actually, I achieved that. And now what's the next little step? And then what's the next little step? Um, it's all about the attitude that you come with when you're learning to develop your own confidence. If you come with an I can attitude and you come with a I'm ready to do this because I'm absolutely fed up of living in fear, living, living in anxiety and not living the life that I want to live because I don't feel confident. If you come with that attitude, then you will start to develop confidence if you follow the right steps on how to do it. So hopefully you're going to join me. Hopefully we're going to build this and hopefully in the coming weeks, you're going to get a lot out of this, a lot of value. If you've got any comments or questions or you relate, please put them in the comments box and I will answer them. I can't see any at the moment, um, but I'm sure there will be. And if you know anybody that is going to benefit from this series, then please do uh, share the videos into pages or groups um, and I'd be happy to help. So join me on Thursday when I'm going to start talking about the first thing to do with developing confidence and that is your confidence goal. I'll see you then. Take care.